Welcome to our video tutorial on how to apply the theorems on kites. What is a kite? A kite is a quadrilateral with no pair of parallel sides. And also, it is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of adjacent sides that are congruent. Example ng kite ay itong figure na to, K-I-T-E. So, obviously, yung side K-E at yung I-T ay mga opposite sides. Kapag in-extend mo yung I-T, to this direction, saka yung EK to this direction, more likely, they will intersect somewhere here. Kaya imposible maging parallel side yan. Similarly, yung KI, saka yung ET, to this direction, mag-meet din sila. Kaya ibang-iba siya sa parallelogram at kay trapezoid. Next ay two distinct pairs. Pag sinabing distinct, walang katulad, pairs of adjacent sides. Pag sinabing adjacent, parang ano yan, parang consecutive. Palagay nyo, alin sa mga sides na to ang dalawang pares ng congruent sides. Napaka-obvious niyan, yung KE, saka yung KI, and ET, and IT. In notation, EK is congruent to IK, and ET is congruent to IT. Mag-iba man yung pangalan ng ating kite, alam mo pa rin dapat i-determine kung sino-sino yung mga congruent sides. Next, here are the theorems on kites. Theorem 1. The diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. In this figure, yung mga diagonals nila ay ito. We have EI and KT. Gamitin natin yung mga terms ay yung isa ay longer diagonal, tapos yung EI ay isang shorter diagonal. In notation, EI is perpendicular to KT. Now, yung intersection ng KT at yung EI, pangalanganan natin na O. Kasi yung theorem 1 may implication. Dalawa. Una, the longer diagonal is perpendicular by sector of the shorter diagonal. That means si KT, bukod sa longer diagonal siya na perpendicular kay EI, hahatiin niya rin yung EI into two congruent parts. In other words, yung EO at OI ay equal in measure. Kung alam mo si EO, let's say 5 ang EO, si OI ay 5 din. Tapos, yung buong EI ay magiging 10, di ba? Isa lang yung given, pero alam mo na yung tatlong measure na yan. Next, the longer diagonal bisects opposite angles. That means, itong dalawang angles na to, yung EKT saka yung IKT are congruent in measure. And, syempre, opposite angles yan, pati yung sa nandito. Si ETK saka yung ITK ay congruent din in measure. Okay? Next, another. Ito yung mas gamitin dito. The area of a kite is to half the product of its diagonals. Basta alam mo yung diagonals ng kite, alam mo na rin yung area ng given kite. Ipag-multiply mo lang yung dalawang diagonals, tapos divide mo ng 2. So, ganito siya. Area equals D sub 1 times D sub 2 over 2. O kaya, mas madaling tandaan, area equals D1 times D2 over 2. Example 1, determine the area of a kite if its diagonals measure 8 cm and 12 cm. For this particular problem, hindi natin kailangan ng figure dahil lang inahanap lang naman ay yung area. Tapos binigyan niya yung mga diagonals. E di ba, sa area ng kite, ang kailangan lang natin ay alam natin yung mga diagonals niya. Formula, Area equals D1 times D2 over 2. Substitute natin, yung D1 magiging 8, yung D2 magiging 12. Pwede rin magpalit, pero it's up to you kung saan ka comfortable. Next is to simplify this one. 8 times 12 is 96 divided by 2 is 48. And that's it. That's the area of this given kite. The area of the kite is 48 square centimeter. Wag na wag yung kalilimutan yung unit of measurement. Example 2, the area of a kite, C-A-R-E, itong figure na to, is 36 square centimeter. If the length of E-A, yung shorter diagonal, is, eight, is 9 centimeter, how long is the other diagonal? The other diagonal is actually this longer diagonal. Now, dahil ang involved ay area ng kite, gagamitin natin yung area of the kite formula na area equals D sub 1 times D sub 2 over 2. So, gagawin mo dito, substitute mo yung mga values, tapos solve for the missing diagonal. Or, alternatively, pwede nyo gamitin to na ginagamit kapag nawawala ang diagonal, tapos given naman yung area. 
missing diagonal equals twice the area divided by the given diagonal. Let's try. Ang area dito ay 36, doblihin mo yan, 72. Tapos, i-divide mo sa given diagonal, 9. So, that is 72 divided by 9 is 8. Yun ay answer. Yun ay yung nawawalang diagonal. So, solution, ito yung EA, missing diagonal, equals, doblihin mo na yung area, divide mo ng given diagonal, 9. That is EA equals 72 over 9, or simply 8. That's the answer. The length of the other diagonal is 8 cm. Kung gusto niyo pa ng maraming examples, panoorin niyo yung next video natin about solving problems involving parallelograms, trapezoid, and kite. Doon may encounter niyo iba't ibang problems that you might encounter in the future. So that ends our video. Goodbye and thank you.